Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Nelly Kutalat, The Foul Fleet. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing what we left off. So for those of you who may have missed the last episode, let me go ahead and recap a little bit for you guys. We got to an island. We talked to some mad genius who had some blueprints for us. These are the uh, the bird detector blueprints. And he requires a large copper dish and a gold metal plated rod. We did find a gold metal plated rod in the form of this sword up here. However, we cannot get the sword it's used only for emergencies. This shop owner right here, uh, Moses Melly, he actually uses this eyepiece and this telescope to see if there's a warship out on the horizon. We need to be able to fool him somehow because he's already like 90% blind anyways. And uh, we need to fool him to believe that there's an attack so we can get that. We also found a ship that a captain wants us to tell him the right story of events. And we need to learn a little bit more about his past before we can kind of get access to that. There is a mechanic who's willing to fix the ship that's, uh, you know, with the captain on it. Unfortunately, he wants some alcohol from a very specific shop. So we're going to have to go look for that as well. So we got several quests kind of going all at the same time. And we've gotten to uh, Groat Island right here, guys. It's rather big. You can see there's the, uh, the Groat Harbor. We're over here in the Groat Promenade. In fact, we're right here on the side. We're in the shop with a big eyeglass that's coming out of the top of it. And uh, this is the Vogel Island where the mad scientist lives over here. I call him mad scientist, but he's really not that. No, he's pretty mad. Yeah, he's pretty pretty eccentric, I guess you could say. But without any further ado, guys, we're going to get into the game. This is a game brought to you by application system uh, Heidenberg. It sells for $19.99 on Steam. I think it's worth every penny, guys. So we've checked out the Quartermaster store. We're going to go ahead and check out the Harbor Master's office while we're here and just see what's in there. We're kind of just checking base or touching base with all these people, learning what they want. And then once we've done that, we can kind of move in a little deeper and, and start solving some of the, you know, the puzzles that they put in front of us. So we got several things in here. Let's look at the... It's marked uh, with the trade routes around the gutter and howls. I guess all the skulls are where privateers have taken a merchant vessel. Can we take Maps it? Maps are for losers. I prefer to use my imagination. <laughs> okay. What a decadent shelving unit. To think some people have to make do with planks balanced on the heads of stuffed pets. I don't want anything from a shelving unit as decadent as that. Wow, okay. So she has a little issue with the decadence. Poison, laudanum, hangman's nooses, and some Jeremy Clarkson books. No way. Wow, so why does this guy have so much poison in his house? It's probably filled with children's dreams. <laughs> okay, oh my god. What does she think of this guy? Oh, I'm happier with it closed. Oh man, he's like the devil to her or it something. It definitely looks ill-gotten to me. No, it doesn't look clean. You know what? The the fact that oh the money call that a polished skull. The fact that he's sitting up on a dresser with the yeah he definitely wants to be like king, and he's trying to uh, get that personification. <laughs> She's like I don't care. You won't catch me on a hoity toity. How do you do, step ladder? Oh my god, jeez. Okay, let's let's talk to him. That's Harbormaster Van. What's his name? Van. Whatever. <laughs> she really hates this guy really hates this guy oi laughing boy you address me as van zandt you little turd <laughs> sorry sorry halo mighty van zandt master of harbors oh jeez. oh i i don't know which is worse putting these two people into a room or the fact that they are absolutely like polar opposites of each other. It's it's kind of cool to see. Okay, are you aware that the chair's on a cabinet? Are you aware that your chair's on a cabinet? Like, right on the cabinet? This is a temporary measure. My joiners are currently constructing a suitably elevated seat. You're making a throne? I find I must rise above the riffraff I am confronted with each day. Present company included. <laughs> Polished skulls. Really? Where are the flickery candles and swinging chains? A very feeble attempt at an evil lair. This is merely the office of a hard-working public servant. It's not a lair. Yes, it is. And it's the worst lair I've ever seen. No, it isn't. It's a brilliant lair. You wait till they finish the shark bit. Oh, my God. 
a sharp it. Let me get with the uh, freaking laser beams attached to their head now. See Not ya. quite. Don't <laughs> fall off and crack your face open or anything. That's, uh, oh man. Is there a picture frame up there next to him? No, I mean, there is, but you can't look at it. Okay, so I think we've seen everything there is to see in here. We've insulted him several times, and I think that's probably the best we can do at the moment. Maybe down the road we can do a little bit more. So we could go down to Shantytown, or we could keep going over to the right and check out the stuff over here. Let's see, we have the courthouse. We also have up here the town, which we can check out. And we got uh, Solomon Spry. So let's talk to him. He's Actually, let's busking. go look at him. Busking is a less profitable alternative to staying at home. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk to him. See what he has to say. He's going to play us some music, I bet. All right, we got a sticker case. Actually, it, it zoned us into like a screen, so let's Private look around the screen. Was out of luck, sailing on the ocean in a rubber duck. <laughs> the shop, meet the farmer's dad and the great white the shop. The town knows his boy. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna listen to it a little bit, but I don't want to make too much of it because sometimes you get those copyright effects if you just let it play the whole time. But definitely kind of cool. Barred windows. I guess that's where they hold prisoners. All right, so this is. I guess that's where they hold prisoners. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, is he talking about the captain again? Wait, let's listen to the words for a second, guys. I I, I need to pay attention to this. Just to see if this has something to do with. Details McCrow was a maid of the sea, seductress of great infamy. Mm, no. Strangled foes to get their loot, or hit them with a bottle of champagne root. Oh yes, I don't know. That doesn't have anything to do that. Let's go ahead and take a look at. Oh, and she finished. Maybe because I moved What's closer. What's the stickers? I made a whole bunch of promotional stickers when I was trying to get famous. Did it work? Fame ain't important to me. It's about the music. It didn't work then. <laughs> no. Take one if you like. All right, we'll take a sticker. Can I take one? There we go, we got a sticker. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey! Hey! What's happening, sister? So, you've got a banjo, a harmonica, windswept hair, a faraway look in your eyes. Are you a jockey? I'm the folk singer, Solomon Spry. All right, what do you sing about? Where does Grout live? So, how many roads must a man walk down? Uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. Let's, let's talk about, what does he sing what about? What do you sing about? The truth. That Van Zandt is a crook, the waterfront is a racket, and Justice Grote is a mere puppet. I hate puppets. Is it the string kind? Nope, just the supine fatso who rubber stamps all of Van Zandt's shady dealing. On the other hand, I also sing about folk heroes like Private Air Pudding and Pigtails McCrow. Uh, okay, what about Grote? Where does Grote live? Grote Manor, at the far end of the promenade. Let's see, how many roads must a man walk down? So, how many roads must a man walk down? What am I, a tour guide? <laughs> Everybody must collect stones? Everybody must collect stones. You look like you collect everything that ain't nailed to the deck. Uh, knock knock? Knock knock knocking on Evan's door? I don't get it. Don't think twice. <laughs> In case you guys don't recognize, these are song titles that have been kind of changed around a little bit. Knock, knock, knock on Heaven's Door. Uh, Evan's Door, how does it feel to be a Rolling Stone? How does it feel to be a Rolling Stone? Well, you gather no moss. <laughs> that said, Keith Richards is covered with a rare form of lichen. Ugh. Jeez, I, I don't know what to say to Later, any of that, baby. guys. Oh my god, seriously. Okay, let's let's go inside the prison. Can we? It's locked. Okay, so we cannot get inside. It only opens for trials. Justice Grote is probably up in Grote Manor. Oh, thanks. Okay, so that's pretty much all we can do down here. Right, notice board? What did she say about that? Get high with Dooley's hemp rigging. Don't the medium rum shark is attracted to alert. traces of alcohol. Don't drink and dive. That might be useful information right there. Wanted, dead or alive. They're gonna have to settle for dead, I reckon. Hmm. Get high with Dooley's hemp Okay, rigging. so let's go ahead and head on out over here. Actually, you can tell him to stop singing, I think. Let's, uh... 
Yeah, I do apologize that I kept having to talk over that. I would have preferred that you guys get to sit there and listen to him sing. However, I have had issues with copyright when you stop for, I think, more than like 15 seconds talking and there's music going on. They they don't really like that too much. So there's a noose over here. Can I As grab a pirate, the I prefer to stay away from gallows. Let's see, we can go up there. We can also go to the town. Let's go down to Shantytown. Before we do that, let's look at his sticker. It's a promotional sticker of Solomon's Bride's face. Oh, you know what? We might be able to use the sticker and something else to show that we're being attacked from the uh, the quartermaster store. That might be a thing if we can find something more horrible than his face. Uh, although his face might be more than enough to, to convince that guy to, uh, you know, to go to all-out war. Well, <laughs> what do we got down here? We got a tea shop. All right, let's look at the tea shop, guys. I like thatched roofs, though they are at the greatest risk of burnination. What's about the Curie's board? Curie's Tea Shop. An authentic, non-corporate tea shop experience in the heart of Shantytown. No, you should never steal an A-board. <laughs> they can snap shut on your fingers and flap wildly in high winds. Okay. You should use the door. We're going to leave that there for now, I guess. Uh, she doesn't really like picking up anything until she knows why she's picking it up. But there are a few exceptions, like the sticker. Like, we don't really know why we're picking that up, but we're still picking it up. So let's look around. Holy crap, there's a lot to look at in this room. Heaps of crockery. And never was a crockery better crocked. I can't do that. All right. They don't look like they're red very often. Well, look how high up they I can't are. Can't do that. Can't even reach those suckers. Heaps of crockery. And never was a crockery. What it's a... an old station clock. It ain't working, and I'm not gonna fix it. Hmm, but we might have to. Knickknacks, bric a brac, curios, and objets d'art. Probably worth less than a fiver the whole lot. I like the bric a brac. Nah, it's all useless ornaments. That's a that's a unique term we don't they use don't over here. They don't look like they're States. red very often. Bric-a-brac, huh? All right. Uh, if anything, I'm learning a you know terminology. Knickknacks, bric-a-brac, curios, and objets d'art. Probably worth less than a fiver the whole lot. Let's look at the window. A bay window looking out onto the cops behind the tea shop. I'm prepared to throw myself out the window if need be, <laughs> but I'll probably just use the door for now. All right. So we can't look at the window. There's nothing there. The knickknacks and bric-a-brac. We got Professor Mary Jane Morgan, Nancy Curry, and uh, Dr. Perwig. Uh, should we talk to the doctor first or the girl who seems disinterested in what's going on? Let's talk to her. Mm-hmm. Ahem. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, she is completely ignoring. Oi. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, what kind of drinks do you have? Uh, what are you reading? Is this your tea shop? Is this your tea shop? No, it's my dolphinarium. Show starts at three o'clock. Front row may get wet. <laughs> a sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, Miss Curie. Not as low as repeating things other people said. Do you want me to call in your tab, Periwig? <laughs> Good one, my dear. The bonnest of moes. <laughs> so I'm guessing he's broke. What are you reading? Poetry. It must be good. It is. Wow, so you are just talkative, aren't you, man? Who's the poet? Ugh, you probably haven't heard of him. Try me. William Willowick. Of course I've heard of him. Did he do the one about the cloud? Never heard of him. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to pick on this one, guys. I'm guessing no matter what you pick, she's going to come back with some kind of stark, uh, you know, comment. But let's go with, this is the one that did the cloud. Did he do the one about the cloud? No. I knew you wouldn't know who he is. <laughs> you could kind of hear a little bit of laughter there in her voice. So at least we made her smile. Uh, who is Willem Willowick? So, who is William Willowick? He's basically the world's number one romantic poet. He's amazing. And he hasn't even seduced any of his relatives yet. Plus, he's totally dishy. Check out his picture in Swoon Some Dandies. Wow. Lock up his sisters. He's been my 100% favorite poet ever since I heard about him this weekend. Okay, so they didn't even show us the picture. I was kind of curious to see what uh, she thought cute was. Let's go with uh, what kind of drinks do you have since I don't think we're going to get any more information. Actually, we, let's click it and see if we get more so, information. So, who is William Willowick? He's basically the... He's oh, okay, so yeah, we're going to skip past that. Wow, he's been... All right, let's go about the drinks. What kind of drinks do you do? 
cinnamon cappuccino, slimline cocoa shots, sober joe, hemp tea with antioxidants, or minty double italiano sea salt frappes. What about a glass of water? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh my god, it's so complicated. Those those you know drinks she was talking about, and she doesn't know how to do a simple glass of water. Sounds like real life to me. Um, I'm interested in one of your drinks. I'm interested in one of your drinks. Let's see the cinnamon uh, cappuccino, the slime line cocoa shot, the sober Joe, hmm, the hemp tea with antioxidants, or the minty double Italian sea salt frappe. I don't know what to do on that one. Let's. I don't think we need any of them, do we? What about the sober Joe? We might need that. What's a sober Joe? It's the ultimate hangover cure. Don't drink it if you're planning to operate heavy machinery or sleep any time this month. You want one? Sure. Yep. Hopefully we don't have to drink it. Thanks. Okay. So we did get that into our inventory. What about interest in one I'm of your drinks? I'm interested in one of your drinks. Let's uh, let's get the slime line cocoa What's shot. What's a slim line cocoa or shot? Slimline, I said. It's a super healthy cocoa concentrate. Without all the fattening sugar that makes the taste bearable. You want one? <laughs> At least she admits it. Yep. I kind of like slime better. The slime line sounds better than Thanks. the slim line, but yeah, we'll go with it. Uh, I'm interested, I'm interested in, one of your in one of your drinks. Oh man, we're going to have to combine some of these, aren't we? What's a cinnamon cappuccino? It's basically tepid goat milk. You want one? Sure. Yep. Tepid goat milk. What will we use that for? Thanks. Let's see. What else I'm does she get? I'm interested in one of your drinks. The, uh, the hemp, tea? hemp tea with antioxidants. Are you sick of having hemp tea ruined by oxidation? Well, then hemp tea with antioxidants is the drink for you. You want one? <laughs> oh my god, that has nothing to yep. do with anything. You can't oxidize your drink. Uh, okay, she Thanks. is a little weird. Let's uh, let's get the I'm last one. I'm interested in one of your drinks. What do we got? The double? What's a minty double Italiano sea salt frappe? It's exactly like a double Italiano sea salt frappe, but mintier. You want one? Sure. Why not? Yep. Oh, we're carrying a lot of drinks. I'm glad we don't have to pay for drinks in this Thanks. game. All right, let's see ya. See ya. Whatever. <laughs> all right, what drinks do we have? Look at all these. And we have another page to go to. Wow, I do like how each one looks a little different from each other. Oh, wow, this looks like something straight from Starbucks. The hemp tea, the cinnamon, slimline, and the sober Joe. All right, let's go ahead and talk to the uh, professor here. I'm Nelly. What's your name? What do you think of this place? Enjoy your coffee. So let's ask him what his name is first. It's just the, the proper thing. I'm Nelly. What's your name? I'm Professor Morgan. What brings you here, Nelly? I'm trying to make a name for myself as a buccaneer. In a tea shop? <laughs> I might need some caffeine. As it happens, I know a thing or two about pirates. Uh, what do you know about pirates? What do you know about pirates? Almost everything. I'm the senior lecturer in piratical studies at West Ham University. Wow! In fact, I'm compiling the Encyclopedia Pyrotanica. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's ask her about that. The Encyclopedia Pyrotanica? Will you put me in it? I'm an excellent pirate. What's your name? Nellie Kutalot. The pirate who plundered an entire shipment of baked beans? No, that's Nellie Toot. Never mind, I'm really famous. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't put you in the book. Uh, Nellie Toothalot, I guess, is what she was going to say, because of the beans, get it, guys? Uh, yeah, that's, um, oh my god, seriously? Can't believe I just said that. Okay, the encyclopedia, yeah, we're, we're not going to be in that one just yet. What about this guy? Have you ever heard of Bloodbeard? William? Yes, well, I used to know him quite well. Wow, I bet he was amazing. Was he amazing? Well, how amazing? Let's talk about something else, okay? <laughs> um, okay. All right, what about this place? What do you think of this place? Well, the coffee tastes like milky ash, the patrons are vacuous posers, and you have to hawk your gold teeth just to buy a gluten-free biscotti. Pretty average, then. Okay, uh, let's the ask her about this one, one more will time. Will you put me in it? What's your name? Nelly Coop. The pirate who... No, okay. I'm sorry. Just wanted to make sure. Enjoy your coffee. Take care. All right, let's talk to this guy, the doctor. Though I doubt he's a real doctor. Ahoy! Ahoy! I'm Nelly. Welcome! Willkommen! Bienvenue! 
Why are you talking like a hotel? Words, my dear. For me, Dr. Periwig, words are a passion. Oh, what's so great about words? What's so great about words? I delight in them. In interlocution, in quill and ink, in etymological lineages as old as the skies. I catch words as they flutter from the lips and I pin them like butterflies. So you're... A writing a dictionary, yes. Jeez, you made it sound like it was interesting. <laughs> I'm off. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's nothing to do, no interactions with this guy? She was so disinterested. You don't even get the choice. At least with her, she's writing a book about pirates. But this guy, dictionary, I'm out of here. Can we not talk to him again? I'm off. Wow, we cannot even talk to this guy again. That is, that's a little nuts. Okay, well, let's let's head on out. Maybe we'll find some useful uh, reason to talk to him or do something with him. But yeah, I, I can't believe they put him in the game and you can't do anything at all. It does look fun to swing on, but I've got a job to do. The pub's shingle. Oh, right, the I pub. I like a good shingle. <laughs> I just like saying shingle. Shingle, shingle, shingle. Let's, let's go into the pub and see if we can get his alcohol, because that's what he was asking for. I'm guessing, though, once he gets too drunk, he won't be able to fix the ship, and maybe that's where using... Oh, is that Obi-Wan in the corner? Well, blow me down. Nelly Cootalot. Captain Rehab! Bomb and Friday! Nelly, have a drink on the house. Have we been here before? Did I did I miss something? What about this guy? Lucas, oh my Are you kidding me, Lucas? And he looks like a, a Jedi. Yeah, that that is definitely a uh, you know homage to uh, George Lucas from uh, you know the guy, creator of Star Wars. He looks just like it. That is that is actually pretty cool. If you guys recognize any of the other characters from things that I'm just not picking up on, definitely leave that down in the comments so I can mention it on the future videos because it's a very apparent the people who made this game are fans of a lot of stuff and they've integrated it into the game and I absolutely love to see that. It's it's giving you information about them that you would not otherwise have and it kind of brings you closer to them in the in the sense as well. Let's uh, look, look at the coaster before we go talk to uh, Lucas over here. There's a coaster nailed to that mast. Uh, 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 get off that. <laughs> that coaster goes to whoever can get me a pint of the white ale. Why? Like, what's so special about a coaster? I don't know. Let's talk. Hello, what's happening? My name's Lucas. I'm selling this fine leather. Hey, that's enough of that. What? Looks like some kind of trader. That's the second biggest. That's it. Get out. <laughs> okay, so he is gone. Tobacco stained etchings of ships and whatnot. I don't think I can take that with me. There is a, what, is a trap door? Some kind of trap door. And some kind of model ship. This model ship has seen better days. It is fun to smash model ships. But we must resist. Okay, so she just wants to smash. I'm probably it, not, not allowed down there. Well, no, until you try. We got uh, Gutsy. Let's talk to Gutsy because these other guys know us, and uh, this guy probably won't. So he'll probably be the, the least useful to us. Ahoy! Uh, how did you get ashore? Do you like it in the house? Actually, no. Gutsy was the guy who helped us get on the ship. I think. How did you get ashore? I washed up on Vogel Island. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm a naturally buoyant fellow, as you can see. <laughs> but my mate Lucas picked me up in his jolly boat. So why did you go AWOL? So, why did you go AWOL? Well, as it happens, I'm something of a businessman. I had a few transactions to, uh, transact. Care to elaborate on that? Not really. Okay, maybe we'll find out later. So what do, what do you think of the howls? Do you like it in the howls? No, oh, it's not a bad place. If you don't mind a bit of corruption and double dealing, check out Chinatown if you want some good food. See you around. Aye, aye. Okay, so the end of the conversation there. Chinatown, definitely there's a coaster on the floor. Let's go ahead and there's check that out. There's a coaster on the floor. How about that one? Is that owned by anybody? Oh, you know what? If we can make that look like a pirate ship somehow, maybe draw a little bit on it. Definitely doesn't look like one now. We could use that as a... Uh, as the thing to fool that guy with. So yeah, let's go ahead and definitely pick that sucker up. There's a coaster on the floor. That is going to help us it out. Looks like the one nailed to the mast. Except it has a picture of a little tugboat. Hmm. 
Okay, so... I don't know, like, how do you change that if the one on the mast is, is the same, but it doesn't even have the picture of the tugboat? What about the lamp? An oil-burning lamp from back in the day. They were mainly used for setting barns on fire. Let's, let's walk over here and see if there's anything to be had on this side of the... Uh, just the pictures. These are old pub pictures. All the blokes in the village smoking pipes on a wall, that sort of thing. Can we take one? I don't think I can take that with me. What about the Old guns? blunderbusses. Blunder... It would be easier to shoot my way out of my problems. But if pirates start using guns, what's next? <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Captain Rehab. Uh, how you been? What you drinking? What's the crack with Zandant? Uh, let's see, how you been? How've you been? Swashing, buckling, the usual? You? Buzz, rescuing, the usual. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, how did you end up here? How did you end up here? Ah, it'd be a long and boring tale of adventure. Friday drank a keg of alfalfa sour mash. You tried to ride that owl. The point is, we're here and ready to snipe from the sidelines of your quest. You do have a quest, don't you? Of course I have a quest. Uh, what are you drinking? Yeah, we'll go with that of one. Of course I have a quest. Baron Whitebeard is after Bloodbeard's treasure. And he's kidnapped the birds of Vogel Island, too. The crap scallion. I need to charter a ship off this barnacle and stop him. What are you drinking? L lemonade. <clears throat> what? Lemonade. <laughs> lemonade? Are you on the wagon ship? No. The bar is... is... We are temporarily unable to serve Rehab's preferred white ale. It's a calamitism. <laughs> oh man, what is that about the white What's ale? What's that about white ale? The finest draft in the seven seas. I have nailed a priceless dreadnought coaster to the mast. That collectible coaster goes to the first man who brings me a white ale. Or woman. <laughs> well, we do need that dreadnought coaster. Dreadnought would definitely look uh, horrible in that, you know, the the little image for that guy and then we could get that piece we're looking for let's see uh won't you just give me the coaster won't you just give me the coaster i love collecting collectible things nay not unless you bring me a white ale i've given my word and what am i if not an honest man you told me you won liar of the year in 89. i, I made that up i'm actually very honest the ale the white ale Oh my god, how can you be honest if you made it up? That would be a lie. Uh, what is the crack? What's the crack with Van Zandt? Longshanks? He's the lowest of the low. A respectable crook. He don't like me much. Good. Stay away from him, you'll do fine. Okay, so we need to... Uh, See ya. We need to talk to the bartender Ahoy! and find out where to get that white ale from. Plus, uh, maybe we might be able to get some drinks from him as well. Uh, nice place you've got here. Nice place you've got here. I swear of you to say. It's a waterlogged dump, but we've gotten used to it. What drinks are you serving? Anything you could wish for. Liar! Paul Troon! That is to say, drinks are off. <laughs> oh, blizzards and woe! What's wrong with the drinks? Uh, the cellar flooded last night. All the barrels are still there, but their labels washed right off. Curse it be Neptune for drowning my booze. I can't tell which one is white ale and which one is Captain Caustic's porthole cleaner. Ew. Okay, well, I thought there might just be different types of ale down there, but yeah, if you got chemicals and stuff, uh, let's, let's ask, see if we can help. I could help sort out the cellar. You reckon? Yeah, I do this sort of thing all the time. Well, if you can do it, you certainly make rehab happy. The trapdoor's just over there. Can you remember anything that might help me with the barrels? Well, the barrels down there are Dubious Green, Sour Jim Special, Infamous Souse, Old Misogynist's Tipple, White Ale, and of course, Captain Caustic's Porthole Cleaner. Dubious Green usually ships in a trademark green cask and smells of sandals. I reckon the black barrel smells of oak, so it's sure to be Sour Jim Special. Infamous Souse always ships in plain brown barrels, Old misogynist Tipple has an excellent nose with undertones of shame. And Captain Caustic's portal cleaner smells minty fresh. Oh, I wrote down everything I could remember here. 
Good luck. Okay. See you Friday. I mean, goodbye. Not see you on Friday. Yeah, I understood, Nelly. Bye. <laughs> let's, uh, let's look at that real quick, guys. And then we're going to go downstairs. So you can see right here, this is the, uh, the tips that they give us. We're going to go downstairs, see what we have. And then I think we're going to end the episode there. And uh, we'll pick this back up on the next one because it may take a little bit while to uh, figure out what's what and put things the way they need to. But I want to show you guys what things are going to be looking like down here. Pick up the labels. Let's see if we can pick up all of these labels. Several wet, wet labels. There she goes. Uh, let's grab these labels as well. Another label. We'll read those in a second. Uh, pretty much just going to be... Actually, I think we might be able to do this one. The green one should be pretty simple. Let's look at it. This one's stuck to the wall. Not much longer. All right. So let's look at that note again, this dubious green white ale. Dubious green is in a green smell or green barrel and smells of sandal. So let's... The green barrel has washed up onto the stairs. Can we click on it? Will she tell us what it smells like? It smells strongly of sandals. Okay, so Ew. that's the dubious green. Let's see, where is dubious green? Uh, I don't think I have dubious green, do I? Really? I'm missing that one? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and smack that one on there. Dubious green. Let's see, what else do we got? Sour Jim Special. A black barrel smells of oak. Well, that should be simple enough. Let's go over here. The black here. barrel ended up on top of the red. Let's talk to the... Or not talk to it, but smell it. See, uh... Anything special? The red and black barrels smell sort of like... Oaky shame. Okay, so she's going to tell us both of them since they're on top of each other. So, smells of oak. That's the Sour Jim special. Um, Sour Jim. There we go. Right on top. And uh, she said shame... Smells of Shame, which is the old uh, misogynist. Let's do that one. That would be the red one. And let's look around. We got three more left. So we've gotten three down. We just need the uh, the brown barrel. Okay, that was right there. And what was it called? The infamous sauce. Okay. There we go. Put that one on that. These are not too difficult. I thought this was going to be a lot harder than it actually is. So we just need the captain's porthole cleaner, smells of mint, and of course the white ale, which we don't know what it does. So let's go ahead and smell the blue ta cast. It smells sort of like cherry. So that, There's a big whiff of dank cellar barrel. Yes, that is not the one we're looking for. Or that is the one we're actually looking for, but not the, the one. The brown and yellow barrels smell kind of like minty leather. Minty leather sounds like an Edwardian gentleman. Mm. I say, is that old minty leather? <laughs> minty! Fancy a spot of lawn tennis before elevenses? Oh my gosh, she has some issues. White ale porthole cleaner. There we go. Yellow cast. And let's go ahead and get the white ale, guys, on the blue one. And That's it. All the barrels are correctly labeled now. Okay, so we did it. She lets us know instantly. Oh, stellar work, Nelly. Bless you. Bless you. The Dreadnought Coaster is all yours. Thanks. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab that. I think I've earned this I crappy think... beer mat. <laughs> we know what to do with it, so I, I think we've earned it too. Let's talk to him one more time. Yeah. Ahoy! All right, so he's good. What about him? Bye. All right, so nothing left in here to do, so let's go ahead and head on out. There might be more to do over here to the, the right, but I'm going to send her back really quick. We're going to see if maybe we can, uh, you know, get that that rapier, and we'll end it there. Let's see. We're going to go up because I do want to know if we have what we need to do that before we end the episode. Now, once we get that, we still need to get the silver plate before we can combine any of the pieces together, so we're just going to be carrying it on us. So there's no big rush to kind of actually do this part. I'm just curious to see if it will work. I might have to use that sticker, though, to put it on and keep it on place. So let's see. Where is it? Tugpoat? Yeah, we're going to go with this one. Oh, come on, guys. Let it work. Let it work. I think it might. Yep, it sure does. Okay, oh, well, we won't find out for sure until we talk to him, but you should check your telescope. You should check your telescope. I just checked it. Oh, no. <laughs> we're under siege by the Dreadnought. 
Raise the alarm, lower the lifeboats, everyone to battle stations. Relax, relax. I'll deal with all that. But I'll need that rapier. Yes, arm the women and children first. What? I think he has things backwards here, guys. But uh, we're going to go ahead and snag that. We might be able to get some of the other weapons if we're lucky, but I doubt it. We're probably only going to get that one sword, but that's all we really need anyway. So let's go there and snag it. This golden rapier is perfect for the bird detector. There we go. Take we got it. it. And God speed you to safety. What about I feel a bit bad about fooling that old geezer, but on the other hand, shiny sword. <laughs> This golden rapier is perfect for the bird. I don't need to do that. Okay, so she's already got it. What about... I'll leave it where it is. Really? You just want him to stay scared for the I'll rest of his life? Okay. The indoor use of cannons is frowned upon. <laughs> so, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I do want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy these videos, definitely go on to Steam. Let the game manufacturer know. Hit that thumbs up on there. Write a little review. Let them know what you think of the game so far, what you think of it uh, you know, throughout the entire series so other people can find it. It definitely helps them grow and definitely lets them know that you want to see more games like that in the future and it would be you know, beneficial to you so you can play more games like that in the future. Uh, again, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm AC Gamer and I will definitely catch you all next time.